So here I want to show you the Manage Project tab. Now here you have basically a general overview of all of your settings here. So you can see here your brand colors, basically all of your colors in your project. And then each tab also under typography, you can see everything listed conveniently below. You have some options to view the CSS, headings, etc. And if you want to delete a group, you can do so by clicking on this icon, of course. Now, for example, let's go to layouts here. As you can see, I have automatic columns on top, which is here. Now we can also reorder these from manage project as well. So for example, if I want to put grid layouts to the top, I can just do that and it should reflect also here, grid layouts. In a future update, we will be adding another icon here where we can basically disable groups. At the moment, we can only do that from the tab itself which is right here. But we think adding this to the Manage Project tab would also be extremely convenient so that you can enable and disable groups from here as well. Okay, so as you can see, this is my project. And if I go to Preferences, I've just called this Ulpras Green, for example, because my primary color or brand color is basically a turquoise green. If I look at this on the front end, this is kind of what it looks like. But let's imagine I have another project with a framework that I prefer. So what I can do is go to manage project. Then let's say I want to incorporate instead this framework from a different website. So what I can do is go to manage project and I can export this one. This one is going to be called Ulpras Purple. So I just click on export and this is going to download a file up here. This is called ulpraspurple.core. Now you probably cannot see that, but let me just move my window down here so you can see. So ulpraspurple.core has just been downloaded. Then if I go back to my original website over here, now I can import this file, the browse files, and I'm going to locate my ulpraspurple.core. And as you can see, you can see the colors and everything is being pulled in. You can even see I have a, an extra group right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on overwrite all. And now you can see that the change is reflected over here. And the last thing we need to do is save changes. So successfully pushed and synced. Now if I go back to my home page and if I refresh this, we can see the new colors are now taking effect. Now, because you saw that I had a new group in this framework, which was here, first section fix, that is why you're seeing the padding at the top here. So if I go back to manage project and let's say I don't want this one anymore, I can simply delete it from here, save changes, go back to the front and now it's fixed as you can see. And the last option, so if you are using the web app version of Core Framework, you can even do a remote import from the link. So here is my web app version. Now I've just created this, as you can see just now, this one is called Super Orange. Now what you'll need to do guys is click on this link here, share project and make sure that it is shareable. And once this is toggled on, what I can do is copy link, link copy to clipboard, then come back over to Core Framework and I can paste that link in here, click confirm. And as you can see, it has found that framework and we can overwrite all save changes. And once again, let's give this a refresh. And now you can see that the spacing and text is a little bit small. And that is because the framework that we just imported, if we go to preferences, you can see the root font size is set to 100 when this should be 62.5. Save. I'm also going to change this to dark mode. And once I refresh this again, now we can see that it is more in line with my initial design. Okay, so there you have it guys. That is basically the overview of the Manage Project tab in Core Framework. It is quite powerful since we have a huge overview of our framework and then we can export and import projects as well.